good morning. Good morning. Can you hear me? You know, I really wanted to show you this like glorious morning routine that I've been trying to implement lately where I get up at 6.30, I do 20 minutes on the Peloton. I have my coffee. I let Moira out. I get ready. I put on my beautiful outfit, my beautiful makeup, and then I gently settle into this desk to do the live stream, which happens every Monday and Friday on my YouTube. But that wouldn't have been accurate to this day or a lot of life. Um, it is 5.45 a.m. I am cramming. I told y'all that I was gonna do a live stream at 9 a.m. today, and by God, I'm gonna do it, but I'm not ready yet, so I'm cramming. Oh my God, this thing is so treat. The truth is, as much as I wanted to show you guys that I am that girl, you know, I'm not that girl. No, no sir, no ma'am. This happens regularly. This is how I got through law school. You're seeing the real thing, my friends. I'll see you in a little bit. Good morning, my sweet angel. Hello. Should we go outside? Do you go potty? Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, good shake. Hey, sweet bubba. Okay, before I go any further, I wanted to thank the sponsor of today's video, Anna Luisa Jewelry. Thank you so, so much for um, reaching out to me. I'm super excited to be working with them. They make beautiful jewelry. I'm wearing a couple of their necklaces right now and this pair of earrings. And I swear, like, I haven't even brushed my hair yet. And these, these jewelries make me feel like off-duty model vibes, you know? Like I still already feel put together and I haven't even brushed my hair yet. So thank you so much to Anna Luisa for sponsoring. If you are interested, check out their website. They have beautiful jewelry. I am a sucker for gold jewelry and they have so many nice pieces. I can't get over it. It was hard to choose the ones that I wanted. They're gorgeous. They're holding up to use and to wear. I can sweat in them. It's not a big deal. They're super cute and they're sustainably made. Anna Luisa is carbon neutral. How cool is that? Also, look at this one. It's double-sided. It's almost like you get two necklaces in one. I'm obsessed with it. It's so nice. Check out Anna Luisa's website to take a look at all of their beautiful jewelry. I am wearing this Kari reversible necklace, which I love, and I'm wearing the Paris earrings. So not only is Anna Luisa's jewelry beautiful, they also have an eye towards sustainability. That's right, they're constantly analyzing their impact, their supply chains, where they're getting their product, the carbon emissions, and the impact that the creation of their jewelry is having on our planet. So they're constantly thinking about how to ethically create jewelry that is both beautiful and sustainable. How cool is that? Check out Anna Luisa's website. I've linked it down below. You can use the code LEGIA10 to get 10% off your first order. Thank you so much to Anna Luisa for sponsoring this video. We're gonna try a high ponytail vibe. When you got greasy hair, just, just put it up. No one has to know. They're gonna know. No one has to know. What do you call them? Hair tie or hair binder? or something else, comment down below. Because I feel like I call mine hair binders pretty regularly and I've had people be like, what the hell are you talking about? What the hell, what's a hair binder? It's this, it's this thing I'm using to bind my hair into a high ponytail. I don't know why that's confusing. Does that look bad? It's gonna work. All right, this is what always happens too. I'm always in a rush, just slapping on my makeup. Again, I would love to be that girl. I'd love to be the girl that gets up and has all the time in the world and is just casually putting these on and spends like an hour doing her makeup, just like relaxing and enjoying it. That ain't me. If you care at all, if you see my makeup and you're like, damn girl, how does she do that? Comment down below. Maybe I'll make a separate like get ready with me video where I actually explain to you the makeup that I'm using. Listen, I'm no makeup artist. I'm a lawyer, not sure if you caught that part. Though I will say I have been kind of struggling with that lately because I have to admit that I do 
mostly not lawyering stuff these days. I do have my law firm. I do do client work, which I really enjoy. I would love to get into working more with like other influencers and content creators because they have some really unique, especially IP based issues, especially around copyrights that I am really interested in working on. And now that I'm getting experience in the field, I feel like it would be nice to, if I were an influencer who needed an attorney, it would be nice to have one that actually has experience doing what I'm doing and gets the ins and outs, you know, of content creation. So that's who I wanna be working with, but I'm not doing a ton of legal work these days. 99% of my time is spent like content creating, coming up with ideas, you know, social media branding, all that stuff for myself, for my own channel and the content that I'm putting out on it. Filming, editing, research is a huge one. It's a little hard because I do sometimes feel like, am I like a real lawyer? Are people gonna start calling me out as a fraud? I think I am. I mean, I, I literally am. I'm licensed, I've practiced, I got the law degree. I feel like I'm learning a ton and growing my legal knowledge with every video that I do. So I'm still like practicing law in a weird way, I guess, but it is hard not to feel like, I, like a fraud or something, like someone's gonna call me out on it. I don't know, man. I'm just here trying to help people. And I've really loved this content creation stuff and I wanna keep with it. And I wanna grow my firm as well. And so it's just, it's a process. I'm in, I'm in the growth stage that is like really kind of awkward and hard to navigate. You know what I mean? We're living and we're learning. Y'all love this highlighter. I will give you this hot tip. It's benefit. What's up? You see that? I imagine that I don't often see this product on like beauty YouTubers because you do, it's a stick. You do have to kind of like drag it across your face after you've already put on your makeup. So I imagine there are probably beauty gurus out there that cringe at that idea, but I ain't one of them. I love this stuff. So, hey, Moira gets mad when I'm not next to her at all times. The other day she met a wiener dog named Buns at the dog park and she was way too, way too much for Buns. We had to pull her away. So she's not allowed up here because she'll squish bubbles to death. Even though she thinks she's playing, she just doesn't get it. Oh, that got in my eye. Okay, we're fine. Eyebrow goop. Oh, I'm so sad. I'm, I've run out of my Revital Lash Serum and my lashes are looking rough. That stuff is addicting. Once you start, you can't stop. It's like so noticeable. My lashes are just tiny. All right, we're running out of time. We gotta wrap it up. We gotta pick a lip. All right, she's pink. I think we're good. Welcome. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the live stream. We're in it to win it. I just finished live streaming. It was really fun. It's 10 a.m. I am going to take Moira for a walk because she has given me the eye, so I know it's time. I am going to then come back and I'm gonna film a video to do like edited video. I'm gonna do a Peloton workout and then I'm gonna do some research for Monday's live stream. And then tonight, my partner Charlie and I are gonna go see Julian Baker at First Avenue. You wanna come along for that ride? One thing I did wanna add though, my initial concept for this video was to show like my life then versus now, back when I worked at a big law firm versus now. And um, I realized that that would be really boring because then if I were to film or reenact what I did for a big law firm, I would literally just be sitting at this desk and maybe having a panic attack, <laughs> which uh, I don't really wanna reenact for you, okay? Like I was a shell of myself when I was working for a big law firm. It works for some people, it didn't work for me. I was so burnt out and I didn't even recognize how burnt out I was until now, three months later, I finally had enough time to unburn out myself. And I now have like, I feel excited about things. I have drive. I'm excited to do things again. Like I don't feel just numb and like I'm going through life kind of checked out, which is how I felt for a really long time at that firm. And it's amazing how much better I feel. So this is not your typical lawyer day in the life video. I get that. I am forging my own path. I am doing some law, but mostly I'm doing a lot of content creation, YouTuber stuff. And it's 
really fun and I have no regrets. Even though right now it's a real scramble because you know, I have 40,000 subscribers on YouTube. That's really impressive. But like earning an income on that takes some hustle. So I'm working on that. I'm doing the hustle, but it is far more fulfilling than the hustle I would be doing at a big law firm. And I get to call the shots. It's all about me. If I were filming myself showing you what a day in the life as a big law firm attorney was, it would be me sitting here at the computer. I would be drafting emails. I would be drafting court documents and would all be for partners or other people. And this, what I'm doing now, which is I have my own law firm. It's small. I don't have a ton of clients because I don't want a ton of clients. I just want to take on the clients that I want. Um, otherwise, like I don't need to be doing law 20 24 seven, the practice of law can be really, really boring. I'm having a ton of fun talking about lawsuits, explaining the law, teaching, bringing you information. And it's filling up my cup in a way that the law firm never did. The law firm exclusively drained me, exclusively took from my cup. So couldn't be happier. So I'm doing a lot of hustling, but oh my God, it's worth it. That's my spiel. I get to call the shots. I get to say how my day's gonna go. And so that's how my day's gonna go. We're gonna go for a walk. We're gonna film some more content. We're gonna do some research. And then we're gonna go see a concert. Okay, let's go. Listen, I'm hungry, so we're making a smoothie. I went to my garden and I got some kale. Bam. Also, please appreciate the check. This is thrifted. I'll link below who I got it from because she was awesome. This is my smoothie re recipe. Ready? Old ass banana, check. Plop her right on in there. Tons of kale, check. Mango. Costco size bag. I could do like a cup of that. I can't get it to zipper. Please. Vanilla protein powder. Gainful. It's this like subscription service. They make some good vegan protein powder. We'll do a scoop of that. Am I vegan? No. But sometimes you can just change a little things about the way that you eat and that will help the environment. It doesn't have to be all or nothing. You know what I mean? So we've got banana, kale, mango, protein powder, Greek yogurt, quarter cup maybe, add a liquid of your choosing, blend it up. blend it up real good. There's nothing worse than a poorly blended smoothie. Bottoms up. Delicious. Cheers. All right, here's the part where you watch the montage of me um, doing work. Roll clip. I'm exhausted. Getting up at 5 a.m. fucking blows. So I'm gonna take a nap and then hopefully I'll have the energy to film a video. Okay, bye. Good morning. Hello. Naps are the best. I'm waking up. I just made some coffee, but I'm also hungry. So I'm gonna make some leftover chili. And by make, I mean heat up. You know what you're thinking? Coffee, chili, gross, right? I don't care. I have a hunger and I have a need for caffeine. We're doing both. Okay. You better go potty. Hello. Welcome. We are filming a video today, keeping it spooky. Spooky season. Man, it took it took a lot out of me to 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 get this shit back together to do another video today. But um we're here. We're doing it. It's it's going to happen. I have faith in me. I have faith in us. We're going to make it happen. 
realized I should maybe do like an unboxing of this. I just ordered these from Amazon because I got this new computer. They're pretty cute. Look at these things. They're, they're bigger than I expected. Here's my tiny little hand for comparison. I mean, they're really basic computer speakers. Um, I just haven't had like a desktop PC in so long that I was like, do they even make computer speakers anymore? And these were voted like some of the best. They're called uh, Pebbles, Creative Design Pebbles. I don't know. It's working. So, yeah. Look how uh, pretty. It's the exact same base that I just did. That's the, the part. The part I didn't like in hey, the last tutorial was actually... Cool. We'll work on this setup. It's, it's a work in progress. check hi this is it this is what we're working with it's very um yes i am a bisexual thank you for asking got my dump him shirt from my merch that's it man i mean i've been living in this flannel it is vintage timberland i got it from retro wanderlust in hopkins minnesota we're living our best lives we're gonna be comfy cozy at the concert julian baker uh, i will say with my um, Ana Luisa jewelry, everything looks just like slightly more elevated. So thank you again, Ana Luisa, for sponsoring this video. Again, I have a code down in the description below or use Lija10 at checkout for 10% off your next purchase. Thanks so much, Ana Luisa. That's it. I'm gonna go have some dinner and, and go to this concert.